With the 19th pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the New York Mets select Pete Crow Armstrong, an outfielder from Harvard Westlake High School, North Hollywood, California. The Milwaukee Brewers have the next pick. This kid's a fire plug, man. Another top pick out of Harvard Westlake High School in California. He joins the likes of Jack Flaherty, Lucas Giolito. Uh, but this kid, he's not a pitcher. Pete Crow Armstrong, he's been on the scouts radar for a while and he's been standing in our MLB draft spotlight. What's up? I'm Pete Crow Armstrong. Now it's my time to shine. Who do you model your game after? I have two of them uh, right off the bat, and it's Javi Baez and Ronald Acuna. I just think they're probably two of the most fun players to watch in the game. You want to talk about one of those let the kids play moments? I think people just in enjoy to watch people have fun. He is fired up. That's what I love so much about the game, is that it gives any person of any age the opportunity to just let loose. I get to be myself on the field, and um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, his emotion just comes through when he plays. How about when he yeah. finds out he's been drafted? Okay. A little subdued. He's emotional. Pete Crow Armstrong drafted 19th overall by the New York Mets. It's the third straight year that the Mets have taken a high school position player with their first pick in the draft. His family and friends so happy. Uh, and this kid. He's got the moxie for it, man. He does. And one thing we haven't talked a lot about is um, outfield defense. But he's been regarded, and you know more about it than I do, as one of the better defenders in the outfield in this draft class. Yeah, best defensive center fielder in this draft class. I mean, he, he just doesn't play defense well in center field. He plays it exceptionally well. You see guys that can go back on balls and more lateral. This guy goes to the gaps as well as anybody. He's instinctive. He's, he's moving before the ball has hit. His defense is game changing. He's got really good bat to ball skills, a little bit of a drifter that I have to clean up in pro ball. I'm sure he'll do that because he does find the barrel. I mean, this guy is a guy that can control center field for years in City Field. Offensively, I've seen comps to Brett Gardner. Is that, is that, is that fair? Yeah, I dropped a Darren Erstad on him for Ooh, me. Okay. He had some similarities right. for me for Darren Erstad. All right, now he's a Vandy commit, so i got to ask Tim Corbin what he thinks of Armstrong. Um, it, the glove is really that special? I, yeah, it is. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Dan alluded to it, but uh, Jack Leggett, who I used to work with, he, he said this guy could play center field in the big leagues right now, and I did a little bit of breakdown on him. I, two particular catches right here one to the glove side and the backhand side and this takes timing and athleticism but the way the game's being played right now ball in the air the value of this type of player is important we have a comp right here of Kiermaier Sam Wild turned him around so you got a comp right there you're going to go back to the other side right here these are defensive RBIs or RTAs runs taken away and that has value this this kid has the ability to do that type of uh, or has that type of skill to play defensively and offensively too. He can swing the bat. He's more of a slasher, but I think once he grows into his body and gains strength, you're, you're going to see uh, a, a lot of production that way too. Pete Crow Armstrong. I love the breakdown. Flipping Kevin Kiermaier to, to yeah, a lefty. That's beautiful. Just Tim so has been nailing his breakdowns tonight. Got a yeah. big league name though, Killing. man. Come oh, on, Pete Crow Armstrong. I mean, that fits in New York. I tell you what, he's a great kid too. He's yeah, a great he teammate. He's a good. He's a really intelligent kid. Uh, he's really a, a very interesting package. Mm -hmm. And the comparison game to Erstad is compelling because Erstad had some monster offensive years. He did. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's why that. the kid was just selected 19th overall.